Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to use Cause of Elements in Avatars. So this is going to be split into two parts. The first part that is that we are going to use the the available Cause of Elements in Abacus C O H three D eight, and the second part will we are going to use the the PPR Cause of Elements that the subroutine was a, is available on mine in the Paulino website from University of Illinois. Uh, so this is the model that we are going to simulate. This is two bar connected by Cohesive Elements. And then as we pull this the upper bar, the crack will initiate at this steep and propagates. So this is the material. This is steel and and the cohesive is with these numbers. This is just arbitrary numbers that I I took. Uh, you, you can put your own number if you want. I just want to show you how it works. So first, uh, the idea is that to do that, we need to. We need to to model these parts with only one part, and then we do partition to to show, to 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 def, uh, to divide which part is the 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 upper part, the lower part, and the interface. Let's do it. So create here, and then yeah, you make it a four hundred twenty point zero zero one. So the length will be four hundred. Uh, the thickness will be 20 with the thickness of the interface around 0 0.001 okay, okay done, done. alright and then to do partition we need to create a datum plane create so you can click here and choose create datum plane offset from principal uh, offset from plane so select a plane, you click, click here, enter a value, you flip the direction, and OK, then put it uh, 10, and then select a plane from which to offset, click again here, enter a value, OK, and then put 10.001. Alright, so if you, if you zoom here, uh, you will see that there are two datum plane separated at distance 0 0.001 and then we need to, to do partition click and hold then click this one partition cell using datum plane select a datum plane choose the lower one and then create partition you have the first partition and then select the cells to partition you click the upper and then done. Select a datum plane. Select the upper one. Done. So if you zoom out, click Control and then scroll. See here, you have two. You have, now you have three part. The first, uh, three region. The lower beam, the upper beam, and then the the the, the part for the cohesive elements itself. Then let's move to the property. So here, if you click here, okay. So create the first part, steel, and then mechanical just elasticity, young model is 200, and then plasma pressure is 2.3. I don't really care about the unit now. And then you create the second part that is the, the just call it glue, and then elastic. The difference is for cohesive development. You you click here, and then you choose traction. And then you put the, uh, the the stiffness. Stiffness is uh, you choose here 10, 10, and 10. So the same stiffness in the transfer, in the normal shear and tangential directions. And then click here, and then choose the damage for traction separation. This is the damage initiation criteria when the the interface will damage. So you. Uh, just choose this one maximum stress damage and then put number 0. 0. whatever you want 0. 0.5 maybe 0. 0.5 yeah this is the stress at which the damage of the interface starts to occur uh, and then you just damage evolutions so uh, you can choose the the energy 
that is the fracture energy of the interface elements or you can choose displacement here I, I will just choose 0 0.25 yes this is the fracture energy later uh, you can calibrate this with your experimental data and yeah, you just uh, click damage stabilizations this is just for damping for uh, numerical stability because when you're using cohesive element you have damage there and usually the problem becomes highly nonlinear it's difficult for the Newton Raphsons to, to calculate to con uh, converge solutions so you usually you need the fiscal city fiscal plot uh, fiscal city just put a small number usually all right and then click okay create section the first section is for the steel click okay and then choose the steel second section is click other and then cohesive and then material glue the response traction separation click okay and then we assign the region for this one. Oh no. Sorry, I forgot to do something. Let's come back to part. And then yeah, we need to do some partition again to to provide us the selection zone for the loading. Uh, offset from plane. This one. Okay and just put it 5 I think 5 oh no flip the direction ok 5 done and then we do partition alright so you select all and then click here create partition ok done you, you will understand why we do, why we need this region later all right and then click here let's assign assign section choose here and then press shift and then to select here yeah but if you zoom you supposed not to select this middle part and then click uh, section one is for still I think yes and then for the cohesive, select this two area, yeah, then done, and then click section two, which is the group. All right, done. And next, click assembly. Part one, yes, just click OK, and then step. Yeah, this is. The most important part, I think, when you're doing a simulation of a cohesive elements, uh, let's make it create static general. And then, because this is going to be nonlinear, uh, highly deflected, just choose the nonlinear geometry. You know, with uh, some stabilization, just yeah, leave leave it as is. And then, uh, yes. Because this is highly nonlinear, they might need a very small time step. Just put it this value. The maximum is 0 0.1. The initial also 0 0.1. Click OK. OK. And then you need to to do this. This is really important. General software click here continue so you know when Abacus try to solve the problems they solve the problem for each time step so at the given time step Abacus will try to solve the problem if they cannot get the convert solution usually they do the cutbacks of the time the time step and if it's not still it it's it, it will it did it did not converge they cut it again cut it again until several times so the diff the the default is five time cutbacks so here if you click the time implementation in here you can set this into 20 so it will cut the initial time step 20 times smaller 20 times and then choose here you just just number 20 and 40 basically the idea is that 
we can force the Newton Raphson to do more iteration to get the convert solutions. So click here for the output. I will just choose the yeah. We don't need plastic strain. We don't need yeah. If you need, you can click and put evenly space. I put fifty here. Right. We're done with the step, and now the load. Yeah. Displacement. I will fix this part. Okay. And you can rotate it. Then I will also fix this part. Sorry. this part and then I will pull this part up around yeah, around 20 maybe yeah all right and then we mesh so first you can yeah. Go to part and click mesh. So click apply. So this is the default, but I think this is too coarse. You need to refine the mesh. So here I'm gonna choose five, I think, or maybe 2.5. Yeah, 2.5. Okay, I think. And click mesh. Right, not too fine. Yeah, good. And then let's assign element type for this upper and for this lower it's a standard linear 3d stress with disintegration because this is bending problem make sure you click the hourglass control put it enhanced just to make it yeah robust so it will not have a hour hourglass problems done and then for the cohesive itself Click here, and then click here, done, and then you choose cohesive, make sure, and then you choose viscosity, like before, 0, zero 1, you can, you can do a parametric study to find the, the correct value for your case, that is a su uh, suitable for your case. Element dilation, yes, maximum degradation, yeah, 1, by default, okay, alright. And then the most important thing in this step is to assign the, the orientation of the interface element. So the interface will know if they are connecting with which faces, which face to another face, to what face. So remove selected. Oh, sorry, cells. Remove selected cells. And now you are left with this element. So if you click tools, query, and then mesh tech orientation, you can see here now that uh, where is it? I can't come up and see this. Yeah, basically. Just click here, just choose all of it, click done, and then choose this part. So now it becomes brown and purple. You need to assign this so that the cohesive element knows that they are connecting the upper surface with the lower surface that is brown with purple. Okay, and click the done and you're good to go now we're going to run click create i will use two processor because i only have two processor and then i think and then submit done. all right we're going to wait the result is going to take some time 
I'm gonna pause this video and continue when it's finished. Oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to click something in the field options. Let's kill the, the simulation and then come back again here. Uh, in the load, hey, sorry, in the step, field output, click here. And then uh, click status. And then and then click the failure the damage as the how much the 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 interface degrade its uh, elastic stiffness done and then let's run it again yeah, and then i will come back again later see ya all right all right guys so let's continue because the running takes a lot of time so I just kill and you can see the result until until now so if you see if you click result you can get this and click here and then maybe here see if we can play the movie if you want see the crack propagates if you zoom here you will see that uh, right, that's it step by step. There's cohesive elements, and then see oh, the crack. Oh, the, the the here is you can see the interface. Propagate and yeah, and so on. Yeah, so that's how to use cohesive elements, and then yeah, you can extract the the force reaction force in here. So you can get the force displacement curve or whatever you want. Yeah, so the next step is that we're going to replace these cohesive elements with the PPR cohesive element available online. So, uh, in the next videos. All right.